It are not the easiest subjects for the primary school students in Sierra Leone. Because all schools are closed, they are taught by radio teachers. 12-year-old John finds it not so easy. It's too difficult because the money is going so fast. For eight months now, schools in Sierra Leone are closed to prevent the Ebola virus from spreading. And many children have more restrictions. My father is not allowing me to play outside because of this Ebola. He said if I play outside, when I go, he will punish me. Everyone is afraid of becoming infected. For children, there is nothing more to do than to sit inside. When I sit at home, I feel bored and if I don't see my friend around me, we are not making fun, yeah, we are not making jokes, yeah. When I sit slowly, I feel, I feel sorry. Today, John is allowed to show us his school. He's living in a hot spot, an area where many people got infected and died. John has taken simple but effective protection. I did the soap, I put it in my mouth. Do that every time, every minute. There is a no touch policy, which means also children cannot touch each other, go to each other's compounds, or play outside. For them, everything has come to a stop. I miss, like, my friend when we are playing. Seeking, hiding, and when we are running, when I go through with my teacher floggers, yeah, I miss that. On the field in front of John's school, an emergency hospital has been built. This is the treatment center, Ebola treatment center. When Ebola patients come, so this is the way they come with it. Many people have Ebola in my community because they are not listening to the advice the government has given us. They hurt the health people has given us. They don't give us the advice. They don't listen to the advice, so that's why they do it. And carry the sick out and, and share it to another person. The schools will be closed for at least another month. The radio program is the only way for the children to learn something. Many families can't afford a radio or batteries to make it work. Many things have to be improved, is what the children tell the aid workers. What I have learned from these children today is really, really good. It really shows that we are not wasting our time having this radio program, but they are learning from it, and they gave me suggestions to take back to the government on how they can improve on the presentation of the radio program. And it is really, really, really incredible for me to hear. The only thing Young can do now is wait at home, make the best of it and hope no one gets sick. Only then schools will reopen. And until that time... There are about 118 different elements known today. I miss this school so much. Yeah.